U.S. Congress wants the F-22 Raptor not to be decommissioned and even to expand its capabilities since it is acknowledged that this first fifth-generation fighter plane is still required. Initially, the USAF sought to retire 33 F-22s from a total of 183 aircraft to 150 units. The funds from this decrease will be concentrated on building the Next Generation Air Dominance and GAD program and other USAF flagship projects. Judging from its performance since initially serving in USAF duty in 2005, the F-22 Raptor features a mix of stealth, speed, and agility. That's what makes the Raptor with its armaments stored in its body highly lethal and feared in the air because this technology has not been mastered by other countries. The F-22 Raptor is the most sophisticated fighter airplane of its period, combining supercruise capabilities, super maneuverability, and sensor fusion. The Raptor's design is meant to decrease radio emissions, infrared signals, and auditory signals making them difficult to detect by radar. The aircraft is powered by two Pratt and Whitney F-100 and 19 PW-100 turbofan engines with afterburners and nozzle thrust vectoring. With this engine, the F-22 Raptor can accelerate to the speed of Mach 2. The aircraft can even execute supercruise flights and maintain supersonic speeds without the need for afterburners. The F-22 is equipped with six Raytheon AIM-120 medium-range air-to-air missiles and two AIM-9M Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missiles, while the internal armament is a 20mm M61 at two Gatling gun with 480 rounds of ammunition. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall claimed the Raptor was the air dominance answer for the NGAD program. To keep this first stealth fighter plane flying strong now and in the future, a program dubbed RACR, Raptor Agile Capability Release, was set out. The RACR program will upgrade the software and may make modest adjustments to the hardware components. The objective is to make the Raptor faster than when it was initially constructed. The F-22 Raptor upgrade program is separated into many parts. First is the R1 Phaser. In this phase, software and hardware updates will be carried out as indicated. Phase R1 itself will be divided into three. In the first phase of R1, there will be non-field testing in the form of early operational tests to development tests. The second is a specific operational test, and lastly the post-fall monitoring test. The full series is purportedly completed on August 16, 2021. Currently, the F-22 upgrade is nearing the second stage or R-2, essentially the operational test stage. The R-2 itself incorporates much of the software on the new AIM-260 combined air tactical missile, JATM. The drive stated sighting persons acquainted with the topic. It stated the new technology in JATM is significantly more sophisticated than the AM-120 AMRAM missile. The final is the third stage, or R3, which comprises software testing on the data connection and upgrades to current sensors.